citizens of Reject Nation, we are back for more Benign of the Nine. Today we're going to do episodes 5 by 15, I believe, and 5 by 16, unless one of them is just so good that we have to stop and discuss it immediately. Greg, how are you feeling? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me either. Just subscribe to the Patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. You know what to do. All that good stuff. Let's just hop into it. Santiago, your test result from the sergeant's exam has arrived. Ooh, everybody make room. Amy needs adequate space to do her signature dork dance. I don't know if there's going to be a dork dance. Oh, there will be a dork dance. It's a little bad news envelope. What? No. That's nuts. Sarge, tell her envelope size doesn't matter. If I'm being honest, I got a much bigger envelope. Oh, God. Oh, oh it's very, very unhelpful. Mine was bigger, too. Uh, the black people penises. I'll open it. No! 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 Yeah. Do it harder. I opened it. You passed. <gasps> dork oh dance. Oh, my God. You're gonna be a sergeant. You're gonna be a sergeant. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Woo! Mm. Yeah. That's my it. future wife. Stop. It. So, <laughs> that reception dance is gonna be a good one. This case will be the last one we ever work together as detectives, so it has to be perfect. I present to you a serial arson case. Mm -hmm. And the fires seem arson case. Status is about to be heck a moist. Don't call HR. We are getting married because Melvin Sturmley is coming <laughs> yeah. in to help us with the case. Showing. <laughs> hey, I was going through your calendar. Who's this guest star going to be? Being that I am your campaign manager. You are not. I did a little <laughs> sleuthing on your rivals. You want me to spill the beans? Why would you ever intentionally spill beans? They're one of nature's most densely packed protein sources and they remain unsullied. You know what she meant. <laughs> And John Kelly. Yes, that's right. There are two John Kellys. How are these not the same man? You should see their wives. <laughs> or should I say, wife? Good God. It's the same picture. Maintaining the course and blazing a path to a new future. I'm kidding. It's remaining on the course. Unbelievable. <laughs> None of these men have any interest in advancing the NYPD. Advance the course. But do you know what kills dinosaurs? Asteroids? No. Use steroids. Ooh. You are going to kill these dinosaurs. Use steroids to kill these dinosaurs. Come meet Melvin. Oh hey. shit. You can call me Vin. <laughs> but where is nerd? Look in the mirror, Jake. Uh, took the words right out of my mouth. Say hello to the nine nines brand new, fully loaded, sweet as hell, crime pressure on wheels. Yes. That's the taxpayer's money. Protect or stuck driving their crappy old cars. Mine's the oldest. I've never felt so abandoned. And I was actually abandoned. They found me in a swamp. We'll do a drawing <laughs> for it. But Makes until sense. then, no one touches it. Oops, too late. I left a ranch handprint on the windshield. <laughs> oh. Let's do it. I'll take even clues, you take odds. Great. And I will take everyone's coffee order. That's equally helpful. I don't drink coffee, but I love a kombucha. Great. Walk to the kombucha store. Everything okay? You little bitch. Yeah, of course. It's going to be like Skyfire. He's the arsonist. Maybe we should switch gears a bit and get back to some good old-fashioned police work. Whoever set in these fires is clearly trying to humiliate Vin, you know, make a puzzle he can't solve. So maybe we should focus on people that don't like you. Maybe another puzzler wants to take you down. Maybe Melvin's doing it himself. And he likes my plan. Great. So, Vin, why don't we just get this coat back on you, and I'll help you get out of the door here, and we'll see you tonight, okay? Bye! <laughs> the best. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So Overcompensate. I paused suggestively before I said experience so he would know it wasn't really a compliment. Oh, he felt it. Vented the pause. Raymond Holt, mm -hmm. I'm Captain Olivia Crawford. Oh, snap. Anyway, I just wanted to say what a privilege it is to be up for the same job as a man with your tenure. Oh, damn, she paused you. In error, I am certain. Olivia, I may... <laughs> I would add a social media officer to every precinct. Interesting. I plan on eliminating precincts altogether. What? No precincts? That's not how we do things. That's exactly what both John Kellys said. Oh, no. You're nothing but a Kelly. And I don't want to say you're a dinosaur, but you're a dinosaur. Wow. Holt. No, Holt, you got this. Kill her and steal her strategy. What do you think of Melvin Sturmley? You mean my future husband? Oh. So you like his puzzles? In his face, body and brain, and body. Honestly, Vin makes all other men seem really stupid and ugly. <laughs> you must solve one of Vin's puzzles to enter. Yes. Rearrange the letters of this phrase to reveal a place in the world. Meet a brainier stud, eh? Oh, come on. There's no place with that many letters in it. Paris, Amsterdam. A Bermuda, tr the Bermuda Triangle. Sad anus loser, I go in. You know, I feel like these puzzles are actually very pointed. Forget it. I got this. <laughs> Puzzle solved. <laughs> yeah. 
I want to figure out that sad anus loser go in. Yeah. I'll get it by the end of the episode. I need this car, too. I'm sick of riding my Vespa to work every day. Well, being on the seat behind you is no picnic either. All right. Here goes. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. It says Terry. I won. They all say Terry. No way. You cheated. What? I didn't cheat. I bet every slip in there says Terry. He filled it full of fake people. Who the hell is Norm? It's Scully's first name. It is? Stop being. <laughs> <laughs> you want unfair and unsquared. I'm going to prove it. And if we can't, we'll plant it. No. Charles, no. I need your help. Terry's the one who placed the, the order for the car. Jealousy is an ugly emotion that I don't feel. Besides, Amy picked my plan to come here. Why would I be jealous of Vin? Because of his body and face and brain and body. <laughs> Have you seen his body? No wonder the Saturday crossword replaced Sam with him. Sam must be pissed. I heard the only place that buys his puzzles now is Parade Magazine. A five-letter word for a game popular in nursing homes. Bingo. <laughs> you know what, Amy? It's your last case. You decide. Should we go with Vin's wacky little plan, or should we go with Sam Jepson, my exceptionally solidly? Wacky little plan. But this is Vin's world, and I think we should go with his strategy. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, sounds great. Live life one stanza at a time. We think the arsonist is using the fires to spell out his name. The most common third letter in names that start with M-A are L for Malcolm, X for Max, R for Mark, and T for Matthew. Or his name is Sam and he's spelling it backwards. Uh, yeah. Finn designed today's puzzle using only one of each of those letters. Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever seen? Remember that time we investigated the disappearance of Mrs. Jackson and it turned out her parrot ate her bones and all? That was pretty crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> for real? I'll take the M-A-T corner, you take the M-A-R corner, and we'll have patrolmen take the M-A-X and M-A-L. Cool? Yep, very cool. Okay, great. I'll get the surveillance equipment. This is kind of a fun plan. You're gonna stake out Sam's apartment. Then when he sets a fire, Finn is gonna look like a dummy. That's right. He's, oh, my hand cramped. Oh. Oh, it's stuck in a claw. It's a claw now. Oh. You're halfway to Palpatine. Yeah. There are two Friends jokes in this episode already. I'm a creature of the past. I'm a dinosaur. No, you are not. Mm -hmm. You're the best man for the job. And I think you know what you have to do to get it. Believe in myself and give a great presentation? Not even close. That's the head of the committee over there gorging on... Suck ass. The best commissioner the NYPD has ever had. If you're not the commissioner... I will do good things for the city. Now get over there and crap all over Olivia's ideas. Patrick, nice to see you. Hello, Raymond. Shall we small talk? <laughs> I suppose you could call it that. I mean, Woke I wouldn't, recent. but... Ray, you don't need to worry about her. We had to nominate a girl for PR reasons. There's no way the NYPD is ready for a female commissioner. But we are ready for a gay black man. Grab a crab cake before we start. Real crab, big chunks. Remember where you came from, Holt? Nope, nope, you worked too hard. Gay black man turn. <laughs> Woman later. For yourself, sister. We found a smoking gun. Play it his guy. Voila! Ba boom. What? I don't see anything. Focus on the butt. He squeezed his cheeks before he opened the slip. He knew his name was on it. It was a preemptive celebration, Clinch. Oh. I just kept hearing a blinker. You <laughs> cheat, you cheat, you cheat. Here are the keys. Take the damn car. Terry doesn't deserve it. Yeah, oh. you do. That is why I became a cop. <laughs> Good man. Our first presentation tonight will be from the 99th Precinct's Captain Raymond Holt. Raymond? Rescind your consideration. I was just told by a member of the selection committee that they have no intention of ever choosing a woman to run the NYPD. Someone who has been denied opportunity because of who I am. I cannot stand by and watch it happen to someone else. What are you doing, no. Holt? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> stick to the plan. Selection committee that will judge all of the candidates fairly. And let's be honest, crab cakes were only so-so. Thank you. Oh, now you done. Cross the line. Enemies. Well, he just sat down in the plaza. Okay, he's opening up his backpack. He's got a bomb. Let's wait for it to explode. He's eating it with a spoon. It's soup. He's eating soup. Definitely. Just pulled out a lighter. Nope, it's not a lighter. It's a bumblebee Pez dispenser. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, he's making a phone call. Quick, get the parabomb. Someone eat a Pez like that. I did something bad. Yeah, you set some fires. I proposed to Gretchen, and she said no. So you set some fires. So I left Myrtle Beach. Two weeks ago, and then you set some fires. No, I got back home today. Yeah, all my fish were dead. OK, so Sam, wow. Probably get back to my corner. Just because I was wrong about Sam does not mean that Vin was right. Dude, your corner's uh, on fire. Oh, shit. You knew it. You knew it. 
Vin is not a cop. Why do you keep siding with him instead of me? Oh, let me guess, because he was right and the building was on fire and he's perfect? Are you jealous of Vin? Maybe because it's a gross emotion, but yes, I am a little bit jealous of the super smart supermodel. This was our last case together. I never experienced the feeling of jealousy. <laughs> or sexy bee muscle that I don't understand how to tone. He told me it's a lot of bicycle crunches. Crunches on a bicycle? Yes, try it. You have no, no reason to be jealous of him. I just, I don't want you to wake up one day and wish that you were with someone as smart as you are. I am with someone as smart as I am. You. Really? He left? <laughs> the arsonist spelled M-A-R, but they were going to spell M-A-R-R-Y. Conjugate means marry. Yes, and who wants to marry Vin? The, the lady, lady from, from the bar! bar. Hey. Muscle chick, unscramble this. You're going to age. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent puzzle work. You froze your slip of paper so that when you pull the name, all you had to do was find the cold one. You got Gina a cushion for her chair. You let Charles show you 130 pictures of Nikolaj brushing his teeth. You Heimlich Scully twice on the same peanut. I also solved the murder. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get Hitchcock and Scully to agree to this? I washed their car and told them it was a new one. They're napping in it right now. Smart. Hello, Captain. Yeah, car. Ah, Captain Crawford. To what do I owe the pleasure? Captain Crawford is here to see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. It would seem that we have become frenemies. Do you know what that means? Are you trying to imply that I'm too old to understand a portmanteau? I am not. Portmanteau. Uh, Good word. Feel free to start calling me commissioner now. The only time I plan on calling you is to hear you concede. It's going to be hard to hear anything once I've crushed you into a fine powder. A fine powder that will choke you until you die. Yes. <laughs> Captain Allison Crawford Tolman. left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for catching her. With a brilliant, puzzling mind like yours on the case. Actually, Jake solved it. Couldn't have done it without your help. They're making a mold of me for the upcoming bodies exhibit. As they should, your Sweet. body is. You should join me for a puzzle night sometime. Oh. No! Jake is taken. He already has a friend. Hang on, offer. <laughs> now let's straight your centerfold ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, Charles. Yeah, we get it. We get it. All right. Next episode, here we go. On my mark, I will turn on this fan, gently startling our bird due east. File Box Canyon, where he will encounter Charles holding two pot lids. He'll bang them together, forcing <laughs> the ceiling there and out of the ceiling there, where he will be greeted by Scary Rosa holding a scary picture of an owl. This is not gonna work. To an upside down garbage can <laughs> propped up by a hockey stick and connected to a string that Gina is holding. She yes. pulls it, he's trapped, and Terry releases him outside. Let's get you home to mama. Oh, oh yeah! It flew right into the fan. It's everywhere. There's pigeon everywhere. <laughs> oh, animals always die for the sake of comedy. It's funny. It's the funniest thing I can think of. Hey Boyle. Hey Jake. Hey, what? Hey, Jake. Ah! Bill! Ooh, damn. What are you doing here? I thought we agreed to only meet once a year for the Halloween heist. I'm here to deliver your <laughs> quarterly Nutriboom ship. That's right. He signed up for this. Signed up as a one-time payment bribe. I'm not selling Nutriboom. It's clearly a pyramid scheme. First off, it's not a pyramid scheme. It's a conical-tiered, multi-flow through medical marketing entity. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Canceling the contract. Canceling? If it was that easy to get out, would I be here scamming my closest friends? Where are your closest friends? Whatever, I'm not accepting. Of course you are. <laughs> Let's go for the honeymoon and no other reason. All right. Sergeant Santiago, commander of the 99's uniformed officers, reporting for duty. Hey. Oh, nice. You look great. You won't be abusing your power like this with the officers downstairs, will you? Of course not. <laughs> I'm just excited for my first day. Yes, I remember my first day as a sergeant. I bet. My uncle Jeffrey was struck by a subway and maimed. <laughs> the work aspect was quite exciting. Are you ready for your? <laughs> And still keep their attention. My right. recommendation would be you start with a small attainable goal, something you can accomplish quickly, perfectly, and publicly. The best way to lead is to always achieve all your goals. Yes. <laughs> it was meant to be. Pressure is an important part of success. Just remember, you represent all Latina police women right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Just find the biggest beat cop and beat him down. We need to cancel our Nutri contracts. We need $10,000. What's that? I'm sorry? It's payment for the last shipment, plus uh, the cancellation fee, plus the restocking fee, plus something we call a coward's charge. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll write you a check. Is gratuity included? Charles, no. Oh, <laughs> gratuity included. These days. <laughs> for the no payment option, you just need to sign here. Enrollment in NutriCore? It's our charity organization. Doctor is spelled with an E? It's the British spelling. That. <laughs> And if you don't cooperate, we'll have no choice but to file a report against the company. You signed a contract, and that is binding. No one gets special treatment, officer. 
Not even Jay. Who? Jay Chandrasekhar, the celebrity spokesman. Oh, no way. The guy from Super Troopers? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and he's directed many episodes <laughs> of Psych. Specialist, this is Phil. He's been assigned to intimidate you. Congratulations. Thank you. Charles, stop thanking her. <laughs> Wanna... So bad. I know what we should start with. Oh, I'm sorry, Officer. Jennings, Gary Jennings. Officer Jennings. <laughs> Okay, well, you just paused, so I thought you were looking for suggestions, which I have a lot of. Nope, not why I paused. Anyway, our... <laughs> yes, I am, because our first order of business is cleaning this floor. Charles, <laughs> Charles, come here. Terrible, sir. I mean, no one's seen the CEO's wife in years. People think she's been murdered. That's just a rumor. She's just on a retreat. How do we get in, you ask? By attending today's meeting of President's Club Admiral Level Nutramasters at the Nutra Tower Life Base. <laughs> You know someone who's a high-level Nutriboom distributor who can, and he looks exactly like you. Oh, yes. no. You really think it'll work? Charles, it has to. It's for our honeymoon. <gasps> you said our. Don't trust it. Don't ask. Okay. The meeting at Nutriboom HQ starts in two hours. Charles, you're going as Bill, and I'm going as one of your Nutri crews. Bill. Why is it vibrating? Is your cell phone in here? No. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a sex toy. All right, these people really... It's a electric razor. Tell us all about yourself. Let's start with my whole family history. I was abandoned at a playground as an infant, and here I am. <laughs> now here's a list of all the nicknames I go by. Big Bill, Big Eric, Big Drew, Big Dave, Super Thick. Just write them all down for us. And that's why the number of belly buttons I have is... Two. One. Zero. Ah. Kyle X Y. Hello. 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 That's it. Okay, now let's work on your wig. Only you and I know our naughty little secret. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think Boyle's <laughs> so hot. If you want to pass as me, you're going to need to learn my patented neck massage technique. Yeah, I don't really see that coming up. Thanks for your help, Bill. Oh, it's certainly oh, coming no. up. All types of successes. Rousing, resounding, smashing. <laughs> <laughs> But you told Captain Holt it went great in such a normal way. I'm a terrible manager. I've got this super eager know-it-all in my squad who keeps derailing me with all his ideas and I can't get anything done. Aww. Reminds me of someone. <laughs> you got a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a pet takes on a new one. Kind follow-up emails about the briefing. No. 30. You got an Amy. Guys, I think I would know if my Gary was an Amy. Hey Gary, oh, what you reading? The new issue of Stationary Monthly. Yeah, I have an Amy. <laughs> the new recruit I signed up. New new recruit. Boom boom. Boom boom. My name is Barry St. Barry, and I can't wait to get inside and unlock my Nutra future. I love your energy. Boom boom. I love boom, your boom. energy. Boom boom. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Get up there. Just the security guard. Yeah. Hitchcock. <laughs> Hitchcock and Scully. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Have you seen all these posters of David Stolman's wife, Debbie? I'm happy, healthy, and alive. Yes, you are. I'd be real dead. All right, Bill said that the officers are... Investigate that. Oh. Hello, admirals. Please turn your eyes to the monitors for a special hello from Nutriboom Elite, Jay Chantrasekhar. Boom, boom. <laughs> And there's our distraction. I first met Dr. David Stobelman. I had no idea my amino acids could be so high or so low. <laughs> Harry, how did you used to deal with having an Amy? I didn't have to do anything. You've always been great. I'm drowning. Fine. When you got too difficult to deal with, I'd pull rank. Did that work? No. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then eventually, over time, they'll each become 10% easier to deal with. Gary will never find love. He is unlovable. <laughs> Those eyes. Oh, cool. Well, congrats. Your baby rolled over early. Like, who cares? And that is how you deal with an Amy. You talk about something she's not interested in until she walks away. <gasps> Whoa. Gina, you genius. Genius, Gina. Gina, yes. You don't know about this? Nobody does, Charles. You clearly just read some weird blog post. First of all, BotMango.com is not a weird blog. It's infotainment. Second. <laughs> Hello, bud. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Bill, what are you doing back here? This floor is closed uh, on the weekend. You're really sore from Pilates. But Nutriboom doesn't allow Pilates. It's a pseudoscience. Oh, no. Most recent sexual partner. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. You seem off, man. Your voice is different. You're not sucking on your signature lollipop. Right. Give him a neck massage. What are you doing back here? I know what's going on. You're fishing for one of my patented neck massages, aren't you? There's the bill I know. <laughs> Turn around and give me that neck. You're not going to do it from the front? Well, of course. I mean, that's how I do it. Oh, that's the good stuff. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Perfect diversion. My eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. I told you it would work. Wait, what's her? It formed a line, Jake. 
transformed to wine. <laughs> Excellent delivery. They're terrible at making shakes. Right? The only listed ingredient is foreign substance. In the f oh, yeah. You really think that's what I thought was interesting about it? I don't know. It's a payment for 100 grand to Scepter Corps. Isn't that one of those black ops security firms that... Uh. We don't have time to talk about this. <laughs> Your dad's birthday is the same day that Debbie Stovelman went missing last year. Oh. Right, but it is enough to make Stovelman nervous. We just have to get to him. Oh, no. Do I have to go his bill again? No, don't worry. He isn't big enough to earn FaceTime with the founder. We have to take this to the highest level. Super Trooper guy. J. Chandra Sekar. Yes. Hey, Gina. Chandra Sekar. I gotta commit that to memory. So my friend Wanda, she just loves the ocean, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian. Ooh, ooh. What is her take on straits? Because I love the bearing. Yes. You should just do what I used to do when I needed to escape you. Literally escape you. Always be on the move. Never be static like a shark. Right. Boom. That is what we did. But you all did that? Mm -hmm. But Rosa, how did you... Uh. <laughs> Damn. You guys are good. Gina's just under the desk. We wanted to talk to you about Nutriboom. All right. Boom, boom, guys. Boom, boom. 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 We're with the NYPD. Oh, my God. Seriously? You guys have to save me. Can you get me out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'd pretend to be happy, too, if you knew what they did to me. Testicular torture? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, they kidnapped my dog. Okay, well, no need to compare stakes, although I doubt your dog costs $10,000. You can't put a price on life! You're absolutely right. Thank you so much for your help, sir. <laughs> Sergeant? Sergeant! Oh, hey! Sergeant? Sergeant? Oh, my. Yes! It's a full-time job avoiding this guy. Let's finally get these shelves up. <laughs> No. I was trying to tell you not to use that wall. It has water damage. Noted. <laughs> I can't believe we're working a sting operation with a celebrity. I know. I feel like we're in Ocean's Eleven. You're such a Clooney. Ooh, and I'm Elliot Gould. Wow. Yes. Just skipped right over Pitt and Damon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Those are Nutricore guys. They're taking Jay. It's not a pickup. It's a throw-in. Taking him to the celebrity center. You can see for yourself if you'd like, Bill. I will see for myself, but I am not Bill. Good one, Bill. Go! <laughs> yeah. Jay! Oh my god. Boom, boom, guys! What? Oh no. Oh, the van thing? Yeah, Jay, the van thing. Those are just my friends from Nutriboom. They were worried about my amino acid levels, so they rushed me straight here to give me more or less of them. Why are you talking like that? What did they do to you? Give you that tortured truth shit. They found my dog. He was wandering around a park for a year. Come on, man, pull it What's together. Happened? These people are evil, remember? David Stolman murdered his wife. You mean me? Whoa. Boom, boom. She is happy, healthy, and alive. Could be an imposter. Hey, Captain. It's turning into a sci-fi movie. I couldn't deal with this over-eager officer who kept pestering me. Oh, you have an Amy. Amy. Yes. <laughs> I know exactly what it's like to be you. You used to be an Amy? No, I never had your level of insecurity. I was referring to- Oh, yeah. Interrupting me with all his own ideas. Were they good ideas? I don't know. I didn't listen to them. Did you just solve it that easily? Yes, I did. You see, managing Amy is not a chore. It's a pleasure. I'm a tool? Oh. Yes, you're a massive tool. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> but you should always listen to an Amy, because they will only make you better. At least, that's my experience. Thank you, sir. Gay black man. I thought you were murdered. I was never dead. And what was that 100K payment to Scepter Corps for? It was to get you off the grid. Because the feds were investigating you. Yeah. So you're still working for Nutriboom? Working for? I am Nutriboom. I am the Nutriboom. <laughs> I haven't committed any crimes that anyone can prove. So you can boom. try your luck with the feds, or you can get your money back and go on that expensive honeymoon. Boom, boom. I know everything. Oh, really? Because you don't know about my big ass moral compass. Damn! Boom, boom. Also, can you tell us how to get out of here? This place is a real maze. <laughs> Never seen again. I want to apologize. I ignored your ideas, and that was a mistake. Tell me your suggestions for the filing system. It's actually five suggestions and 23 sub-suggestions, and I... After the briefing. Oh, copy that. <laughs> we got her posture a little bit. Increased criminal activity in the park last night, so we'll be doubling our patrols there today. After the meeting, I will be handing out new assignments. Yes. Oh. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> Killing it, Amy. Someday, but they didn't sound hopeful. Well, I'm glad you did the right thing. Really? Even though it means we now have no money for a decent honeymoon? It's hard not to say a really corny thing right now about how every day's a honeymoon with you. Aww. 
Jake, don't freak out. There's a really creepy guy spying on us. Oh, no, 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 that's just Phil from Nutriboom. He'll be intimidating us from now on. There's an evil corporation. <laughs> Hi, Phil, boom, boom. <laughs> Say boom, boom, darling. Boom, boom. Not a doctor. <laughs> oh, creepy. Creepy indeed. A fun pair of episodes. Nice for, you know, after last week's uh, tour de force. It's nice to be back with the force. What did you think? Yeah, the uh, uh, the first <laughs> one was okay. Yeah, and uh, the second one seemed to set up a plot line that seems like it's coming in pretty late into the season. Sure, but you know it'll be the next f- three seasons to come. <laughs> but I do like how it came back because it, I mean, he signed that on the the Halloween heist episode, mm. and I didn't think anything would ever become of it so i thought i was just coming back for a joke i actually like how it evolved into a big takedown of a corporation that they now have to embark on this impossible mission yeah it's an evil network marketing company yeah which is great exposing (laughs) pyramid schemes then mlms um yeah and capturing that creepy cult vibe i thought was really fun and but yeah, I, I honestly, what what even happened in the first episode? I don't, I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> first episode was the arsonist with the crossword puzzle. Oh yeah, that was okay. Being jealous. I mean, uh, it's, it was it's, clever. Yeah, some clever stuff. What was that? Um, the an- resolutions were clever. What was the anagram about the movie? Oh goodness, uh, something anus loser. <laughs> Let me pull it pull back it up. up. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try and figure it out. I'm sure. I'm sure a bunch of people have already posted the. Uh, Just pull it up on the. On oh the, yeah, you're right. On the screen recording, it's much easier. Yeah, you can do it. Pull it up. You can do it. You can there. do it. There, it was right there. No, keep going. Sad there. anus loser. I go in. Um. Let's see. Lost. <laughs> It said, what was he said it was based on a movie and it was a book? I don't remember the clue. Let's just yeah. listen back. Okay, classic movie based on a book. Uh, um, write it down. Ooh. I wonder if it's real. It's got to be real. It mu- no, it has to be. They 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 spent enough time on the other ones, and this is like the exact kind of thing. Gone. There's no W. You can't be gone with the wind. <laughs> uh. mm, trying to figure it out. Is it to kill a mockingbird? No, I don't know. There's always way too many letters. <laughs> no, <C's. laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm just sitting here trying to eliminate all the ideas I would have. I got to see if I have any inspirations. Uh... <laughs> Damn, I don't want to. I don't want to just type it in. I had to write it down so that way I could mess with some titles. What, 17 letters? I got to figure this out. It can't, is it real? What classic novels have been made into films? <laughs> so many. Okay, which letter stands out the most? I keep coming back to the L for some reason. I feel like L is kind of a specific. I don't, I don't know. Or the G. G could be something good. Could the word danger be made? Yes. Yeah. All right, John. Pull up a word pad. <laughs> okay. We're doing. This. I'm gonna figure this out. We're doing this. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. Type it in. Okay. Sad anus loser. 
danger, I go in. Okay. Now type the word danger. Now remove those letters and see what we're left with. S anus loss I O I. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, this is, is all going to stay in the video. We're going to figure this out. <laughs> okay. Is there? There's got to be a novel, uh, a movie. What about something with glass? <laughs> uh, you can get glass out of this. G L A two S's. What are movies that, okay, movies that start with glass or not glass onion or have the word danger that could be based on a book? Or based on books, yeah. Uh, I have one title that's kind of popping in my head, but I could have sworn there's a Y in the title. Okay. <laughs> Just copy this. No, wait, wait, wait. Can you make that word dangerous? Uh, yes. We have an O, a U, and an S. This is like playing uh, Jeopardy. Dangerous. Uh, is it dangerous? Liaison. liaison. Yeah. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit. Is that based on a book? But Did I thought we... it was dangerously liaison, but yeah. I was like, is it dangerously liaison? Dangerously. Is it based on a book? Based on his play itself, adapted from a French, French novel. novel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job, dude. Damn, that is. I, I kept saying in my dude. head, I kept saying "Dangerous Lee," but I was like, "Yeah, is there an E? Why that there?" Was good. <laughs> I thought there that was. was so I thought good. I was missing letters from an L Y. So I was like, "Oh, it sure. can't be that." Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah, dangerously liaisons. Yeah. Dangerously. No. And I felt like if we just fleshed it out to the dangerous we could, i'd be like well it has to be if, if it's that's, that if that's if all that's in there okay wait now let's let's confirm by google uh now let's type it in on google okay <laughs> before we <laughs> celebrate <laughs> it's gonna be something entirely different okay. brooklyn 99 answer yes. Yes. okay nice. yeah nice well done yeah yeah we did it you did it. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That was fun. That was thrilling. I haven't played a word puzzle in a game in a while. <laughs> now I'm just trying to think of what other possibilities that use all the letters there are. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know if there could be other choices there. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I mean, that the, we, we got something out of that first yes. episode. Then. <laughs> yeah, because what, what was it? That was that and Terry's car, and then the second episode was the neutral boom, and then Amy's sergeant, sergeant hood. Yeah, so yeah, definitely the stronger, I think, was the Amy episode. Jake being jealous was, like, mediocrely really funny. Um, We've done the that. The jokes are yeah. kind of predictable. Yeah, he's buff. He's good looking. Yeah. yeah. He's smart. A lot of that reminded me of a Friends episode. Uh, there were two jokes in there that were straight up pulled from friends. I don't remember which jokes they were, but I remember when they said it. I was like, the Anna Kornikova joke. Okay. I was like, that's exactly a joke in Friends that Chandler says. <laughs> and then there was another joke that was also a joke Chandler said. And there's a similar episode to Friends. I mean, it's kind of like a sitcom episode of just... The person's jealous of the wife hanging out with someone who they have way more in common with and is better looking yeah, and more successful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who plays to their like specific yeah, yeah, interests. That's just a trope. Yeah. But there was like two there's a second joke that I was like, ah, straight up from front. <laughs> so, yeah, whoever the writer was in the episode. Was a big <laughs> fan. Um and uh, uh yeah, I thought the the um the car thing was Whatever. We didn't even see them driving the car. Left with more questions. I was like, <laughs> who actually ordered the car? <laughs> like, let's see them driving the car. Yeah. Like, well, I... Let's get them out in the car. <laughs> but the payoff, I don't know. That, that felt really like, it's weird to say this for a sitcom because it, it did feel like a film. <laughs> but yeah. they, they had the, the thing about this. I like the whole thing with the commissioner. 
Yes, very. That was much. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, and that was Allison Tolman, I think, was the guest actress who was the you know rival to Holt, who I assume we'll see again at some point. Yes, um, she's a good actress. So it's cool to see her in this kind of comedic environment. And that was a good yeah, like even though a lot of that story still wasn't like one of my favorite B99 plot lines, I thought that was a strong kind of choice that he made there. Like you can kind of see it coming, but. It was a nice moment. I liked that moment. Yeah. Especially to stay true to his character, and especially after Gene has been hyping him up to, to take her down, you know. It's nice. Uh, it was nice. Like, yeah, it was, it was like a pleasant episode. It was one of those ones where I wouldn't be sad, you know, binge-watching the show to have it on, but it's not one where I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Whereas this one, at least, you know, like, the guy who plays uh, Bill. Oil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's, yeah, every time he shows up, it's quite quirky and fun he's a really funny guy yeah he's a really funny character um and i love when they choose to take like a random disparate gag that probably was never intended for anything greater and then do that with it like yeah and that i think is a way of coming you know it's like sometimes you're like yeah we need something for these characters to do and it's very much like a case of the week but that's a clever way of of yeah because anyone who vaguely remembers is going to be like oh fun <laughs> you know yeah yeah that was great um, I like the mystery setup. It was, it was getting like kind of spooky. Yeah, totally. And I thought at the end, the who's the guy? Jay. Jay. Oh, it's super Chandra trooper. Jay Carr. When he when he was uh, at the very end, I was like, did they like brainwash him? <laughs> like, no, I thought did yeah, they do something in his medicine. Like, what's going on in this show now? It yeah. felt like they injected him with that that stuff that they call like truth serum. Yeah. It's supposed to just make you kind of you know. Uh, uh, malleable and like open and and sort of loopy yeah true <laughs> yeah true. i mean yeah and then like it had that quality where it's yeah you got you meet the like over peppy robotic uh rep and then you have everybody in the like the awkward interpersonal interactions then all the stuff with the wife like yeah like despite the humor it did kind of start to feel like one of those cult conspiracy kind of movies in a fun way um and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like never. I mean, you've seen more of the insides of network marketing than I have, but it's always a fun kind of I don't know thing to see different shows take on it. <laughs> what was the B story? Uh, it was Amy trying to manage her Amy. Oh, that was really fun. Yeah, and I, I wonder that was really fun dealing with a mirror of yourself. That's always a challenge. Yeah, and I I wonder if we'll ever see any of those other characters again. <laughs> We'll see Gary. I hope we see Gary. I would like that, yeah. I mean, seeing her in the sergeant position and learning to take command, I thought was a great, great, great. This was for Amy to like really look at herself in the mirror because she's she's such a specific quirk kind of a character, mm -hmm. you know, teacher's pet, very much uh, wanting to be the gold standard at all times mm -hmm. and to be met face to face with that type of encouraging attitude, I thought was really, really funny. Uh, I like I like that a lot. Yeah, because you can, it, it is easy to, to get annoyed with someone who reflects yourself. Yeah, <laughs> get a taste of your own medicine. Yeah, so yeah, that was really fun. There was fun stuff. It was overall it was fun. I still really love the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's always a joy. Like it's it's been a I can't think of the last time I would have seen an episode and been like, well, that was flat. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. There's just some shine brighter than others. But what did you guys think of these? Which one did you like more? And what's your favorite subplot overall? Leave it in the comments. And before we get out of here, let's do a Patreon. <laughs> Tyler Haig, I want you, if, if I was a cop, I would absolutely want, absolutely want you on my force, a part of my precinct. You would be crucial in keeping morale high. You would be crucial in keeping spirits calm. And you could watch the entire city. Like, think of what, use you could put your wall of TVs to if you just had every security camera on all the streets of Brooklyn, Wisconsin, Los Angeles, wherever it is, you could keep that watchful eye. You could be everyone's big benevolent brother. And uh, yeah, I feel like that would just make everyone's lives a lot nicer. People feel safer. And, uh, and yeah, like... Can you send me a photo, Tyler? Oh yeah, please. Send a, a headshot and uh, a body shot. Now's the time to audition, Tyler. Definitely. You want to be a star, don't you? <laughs> Send in along with your next pledge just a few a few tasteful uh, but suggestive images. and uh, you know We'll let you know if you got what it takes. Love you, buddy. <laughs> See you next time.